somebody was asking me about my solar panels and said they might be able to offer some help. So this is a view of all of them. The one on the ground underneath the platform is not hooked up yet because I'm having troubles when I hook up the two big ones here. When I hook up these big boys together, uh, my voltage on my batteries goes too high. So I only have one hooked up at any given time unless day like today it's raining out and really dark. I have the plug just sort of sitting here. I pop it out of the socket when the sun shines and push it back in when it's cloudy like today. Right now I'm getting about four to six amps with I've got my two old panels. These are um, made out of broken cells but they work. They're actually uh, were pretty high end and high power when I put these together. And there's the other one. These two are wired together to make 12 volts. So these are a pair. And I believe they're, yeah, they're 8 amps. Well, if the solar cells were whole, they would have been 8 amps. I think they're only putting on a few amps due to the broken cells, but they, every little bit helps. I have this guy here, which was my best panel. These were 3.5 amp solar cells. So this was a, I believe, I think, 65 watt panel, if I did the math right. But... Um, this is the one that the tornado smashed up the other day, and one of my cells got badly broken to pieces, so this one is out of commission. I've been having bad luck with maintaining my homemade panels because the weather and stuff keeps wrecking them on me. And I bought cheap stuff, as you can see these were chipped as well. My Harbor Freight panels are 12 volt. Uh, these were the best ones I had up till when I got the big boys. Now the problem, these are all, the ones I've showed you so far are all 12 volt. Now what I've got going on here is these big ones, these three, are 24 volt panels. My charge controller claims it'll take the 24 volt panels and feed into 12 volts, but when the sun is shining these are actually putting out as much as 36 volts each. So I can only use one panel, that's this one. This one I've not even hooked up yet at all, I just can't. And although today because it's so dark out I'm gonna... But um, again this one, I, I this one here, I disconnect when it's sunny. Um, but I have noticed when I take the 12 volt panels and hook them up together with the 24 volt panels using diodes to keep them separate I do get a little bit more charging current so I'm not sure what exactly that does overall with the system I can just imagine if you're using two different size chargers on the same battery then you're just going to increase the current that's what I'm thinking but if anybody has any better advice of what's going on when I combine 12 volt panels with a diode to 24 volt panels, um, so far I haven't seen any harm done. So uh, let me hear your thoughts. It's mostly cloudy, but the sun is sort of trying to peek through a little. I've got all three of the new large sol solar panels hooked up right now my batteries are sucking it up nicely there it's sitting almost at 20 right now and the batteries are taking it up I'm going to keep a very close eye on this if the Sun comes out I'm going to have to pull two of the panels really quick I fear but right now I'm getting a nice charge it was really dark and cloudy this morning and I thought we would have no Sun and no charging I figured I'd be on my bicycle pedaling my generator but if this holds up, let's see what the day brings. I may have to just rig up two switches outside and manually shut them off when the sun shines or when I expect it or when I'm not going to be home. 
and power them up when it's cloudy because right now this is looking pretty nice and as I said the sun is not yet fully shining actually this is what I'm looking at just a gray overall more white actually it's just a solid covering and I'm actually pushing nearly 20 amps with that cloud cover with three panels this is amazing There's my show off cat watching me again. I uh, had forgotten to do this yesterday. I just switched out the wires. I had the minus here and the plus here. And I switched it to here just now. So as you can see, minus on one end and plus on the opposite end of the battery bank. Thanks guys for the reminder. For now during this wet weather, till it stops raining in the next couple days here, I've got this covered up with a heavy tarp and a piece of wood. It's keeping them dry. I removed those two older batteries from my compartment here where all my wires come in. Now I just have simply my fuse box where my positive comes in. And everything's fused here. When I had an extra 100 amp fuse laying around and I threw it on here I don't know, it's not really necessary I guess, but I threw it on the negative line just for extra precaution. And um, so that's it, that's the new wiring system. Now the solar panels come in, one of these fat wires, and goes up to the charge controller. And then from there, this goes straight down to the battery. And then I have the six gauge wires coming from the battery back into the camper which is the same size what the camper was originally wired for so anything any load the camper will have will be fine with that when I want to use my inverter I'm going to have to get some bigger wire though well I mostly got my desk cleared off and under the desk is pretty much cleared out I shoved my cooler under there for now I got my little propane backup heater next to it. So I'm getting there. That was a huge difference from before. Just got a couple items to pack away, just a couple cans in there. But this is a huge improvement. Slowly packing things away. The cooler's staying here because it's it's about fifty degrees on average inside, so it doesn't matter now. Well, it's been a very cloudy, dark, rainy day, and I'm at 12.4 volts. It takes a lot more power to charge up these new batteries together with the old ones. i am almost got an amp of charge. And let me see what time it is. It's 5.30. It's pretty cold in here. It's not too bad. It's 57 degrees. Once it hits 55, I start to feel uncomfortable. I'll have to get some heat going tonight. But 5.30 on a cloudy, raining day and an amp of charge is well, it's better than nothing, I guess. But I'm a little bit worried about how much power I'll have tonight. The batteries didn't get topped off enough yet. I was out cutting wood by hand today. I filmed my handsaw and I started I got basically two and a half boxes of woodcut I've got little twigs I've got medium and I've got larger yeah funny but for my wood stove this is large but anyway this is a good day and a half two days of burning so I'll have the wood stove going again tonight back to the cold hi this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world well it got cold again it's been about uh, 40 degrees at night and 50 by day, which is not uh, really a heat wave after the 80 degrees I had in here the other day. So we're back to the cold. It's been really dark today. My new solar panels with my new batteries, I'm not sure. I don't think I got a good charge. I might be outside of my bicycle yet. The sun's sort of... It got brighter. I was pushing as much as um, 15 amps, sometimes 19, but then it dropped down and 
uh, my batteries didn't tap off so I will see what happens tonight I want to thank you all for your feedback and comments about the possibility in the future of the off-grid project I am here for you guys and I want to thank you for being there for me so I am going to keep it real no crowdfunding we'll just keep it how it is which actually is what I was leaning forward towards myself anyway in I will of course in the future have people send me stuff to sample like for example the Larry light or the seeds I've I've worked with before but that's just that's just normal everything else I'm gonna do through hard work and uh, pretty much show you how to get back to basics and show you how to get off the grid on a budget so see you tomorrow